Welcome to another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your host, Adam. Let's go. So, the Giants have been very busy these last few weeks with a rookie minicamp and the start of OTAs. And oh yes, the firing of James Bradbury. Now, we all knew it was coming. We all knew he was going to get the axe. Chop, chop. We didn't know when. We didn't know when he was going to get the axe. Now, some people say it's for the rookie class for me. I think it was for the working class, you know? I mean, they're all getting signed right now. Every one across the board is getting signed. So you needed that money. I, however, would have liked to have held out and see what we could have done. You don't get rid of your best players and people. He was one of the best players on defense. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not just say we can throw James Badbury out with the bathwater, you know, because he was our number one corner. Our Dory Jackson... Only had one interception. James Bradbury had three. James Bradbury, you could say, impacted the game more. I mean, he damn near won the Redskins game on an interception pick. You know? So, he's a valuable asset. And he goes, he goes to a place we didn't want him to go to. We heard he would be rumored to go there, and he went there. And I don't blame him. He went to Philadelphia, right down the turnpike. Probably an hour and a half from where he lives now. Damn. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, and people will say, oh, don't worry, you know, James Bradbury. Look, when your best player comes in, and mind you, the Giants signed a couple players today. They signed like four, you know, back end roster, a couple cornerbacks, guys who probably won't see the field. And if they do, maybe we're in trouble because, you know, you want, they signed a guy that was familiar with the Wink Martindale system. I get it, but he only played like two games. You know, he played like two games. Not, nothing to write home about. Nothing that you're like, oh, great, great, he's going to be the starting corner. And the good thing is he has experience. The one thing I do like is the safety they picked up from Green Bay. He has he played in all 16 games last year. He had an interception, had some pass breakups. You could see that guy probably getting playing time. It also shows me the Giants aren't very happy with a lot of their depth pieces. Okay, a lot of their depth pieces, bringing in more competition. Uh, they're going to be doing that the entire time. Now, these are, this doesn't mean these players are going to be here forever. All right? They're, it doesn't. It just means they're being brought in for a tryout. OTAs are going on. You know, and let's get into a little minicamp. A little news, a little OTA news. You know, Kayvon Thibodeau's looking good. Shaquan Barkley is looking like they're going to be utilizing him more out of the backfield, which actually works better for Saquon Barkley. Get some less touches, less wear and tear on the tires, less wear and tear on his legs. Um, and can actually utilize them as a weapon, unlike the last regime or the last coaching staff, which could be an indictment on both the coaching staff and the offensive line, right, and the quarterback and the whole offense as a whole. If you don't believe in your guys, that's why you run simple concepts because you want them to pick it up. But they couldn't even execute simple concepts. So we'll see how this happens um, this year. It should be fun to see Barkley out wide. And I'm going to make a surprise pick right now. It's probably not going to happen, though. But... In running in the running back area, Antonio Williams, Buffalo running back, came off their practice squad, now playing uh, for the Giants. I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of the guys on the 53-man roster, and, and it's a three-horse, and it's a three-back race with Corbin, the uh, FSU player, on the practice squad. I could see that happening. Antonio Williams already has an, uh, a little bit of experience in this offense. He also has a little bit. Uh, juice in the legs, a little bit more power between the tackles, a guy that you could use downhill in the fourth quarter when you have the lead of a game, because hopefully the Giants will have a lead. That's when you want to really run the football and get your short passing game going, right? You want to use your explosive plays through quarters one, two, three, and even four. But when you get the ball inside four minutes in the fourth quarter or in the, or in the four minutes of the half, this is where you want to run the football. So I think Antonio Williams could be the Devontae Booker of the team. Um, he, he, you know, Gary Brightwell, I don't think he's going to make the team. I think they like Corbin. Uh, Jeremiah Hill is all, uh, Hall is also a guy, undrafted free agent guy, I think is going to intrigue the Giants as a halfback, fullback, tight end type of role. He's going to play three different positions. Um, it'll give a guy, an extra guy in the red zone, an extra blocker when you're doing goal line or, or power back situations. And, you know, an overall, just a dump off for, for Daniel Jones. You can never have too many of those. Daniel Bellinger helps the red zone game. So this is going to be a fun red zone team if they can get to the red zone. Mind you, they got to get to the red zone. Remember, they're 4-13 and for a reason. All right? And, and, and it's more than just the offensive line. It was a whole plethora of things. So let's hope they can keep afloat. James Bradbury is going to hurt. I'm telling you, James Bradbury loss is going to hurt. It may not. You may not feel it right now, but you may become opening game against Ryan Tannehill 
You know, I know they don't have A.J. Brown anymore or Julio Jones, but they got some players out there. Inexperience will will show up, will show up there because they haven't seen everything. It's a new defense. Mistakes are going to happen. Think of life on a football field happening in three hours and in milliseconds. When people make mistakes on the football field, those milliseconds count touchdowns, right? And they're, you know, usually in a six-month span – our microcosm of the season. So hopefully a guy like Aaron Robinson can get some burn, get in this offense, get in this playbook, and, and, and really get this down. But anyways, this has been an update from about from Giant Land, you know, with uh, the OTAs going on. OTAs will be open to the media tomorrow. So you're finally going to see on Thursday all the quarterbacks, um, everybody throwing the football. Don't get too up. Don't get too down about the reports because guys are going to look good. I don't care if they look good in practice. They got to go look good against the Titans come September 11th. But this has been another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your host, Adam. And if you like what you see, tune in, subscribe, hit that like button, and just give me a break. <laughs>